Hey, what's going on everyone, and welcome to a new series on the channel called Homebrew Troubleshooting. This series will contain short videos containing possible solutions to some of the most common issues people experience while homebrewing their Wii and Wii U. In today's video, we are going to be going over some solutions for the infamous failed to initialize USB error that many people experience when trying to play games through USB loader. So let's just get into it. To start, you always want to be sure to use the bottom USB port on the back of your Wii, which is the one closest to the edge if you are positioning your Wii vertically. If you are using a Wii U, then make sure your USB drive is inserted into the top port on the back, or the furthest one from the edge. However, I found that both back ports on the Wii U work, but the top one seems to work better, so I'll just go with that one, but try both if you're still experiencing issues. If you're using an external hard drive that is powered externally, then make sure it's being powered, obviously. And if you are still experiencing issues, then we can go ahead and move on to the next step. Next, let's make sure your USB drive is formatted to FAT32. If you are on Windows, right-click your USB drive and click Properties. If it says your USB drive is formatted to FAT32, then you can skip this portion, but if not, then following these next steps is for you. If your drive is formatted to anything other than FAT32, then we'll have to reformat it. However, unfortunately, formatting a USB drive is actually a very tedious process, I'm, I'm just kidding. But keep in mind that formatting a device will remove everything on the drive. So I would recommend transferring all your files to somewhere safe and then putting them back on your USB drive when it's done formatting. All you have to do is right click on your drive, click format, make sure it's set to FAT32, check quick format, and hit format. Wait till it's done, then you can safely eject your USB. If all else fails, then in the USB loader settings, be sure that the loader iOS is set to 249 or otherwise 58 for GameCube games. 249 is used to play Wii games and you need to install CIOS in order to have 249 as an option. So definitely watch my USB loader tutorial if you don't have 249 as an option. But that's going to go ahead and end it off for this short video, guys. If you're still having issues with this error, then I recommend joining the Discord server down below. Me and some other people will be able to help you out. But with that being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.